Well, good morning. Um, I just thought I'd let you know that this is the final day. Hope, yeah, it is the final day. There's no doubt it's the final day, right? Yeah. And uh, it's a beautiful morning here in Fuzeta. Got a slight tailwind. And now that the weather report's over, we've got to get from Fuzeta to Faro, which is <laughs> about 25 kilometers. And isn't it awesome? <laughs> this amazing bivouac has just descended upon the boys and it's full of oh, wet. No. Hey, it's all oh, falling it's apart. All wet. Oh, it's alive the, <laughs> it the whole night. <laughs> and then, uh, like, it was you, you were talking too loud. It was a sound wave. Maybe he kicked oh, it when he went past, just for yeah. comical sort of effect. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Well, actually, you know, these guys are really good bivy makers, I promise you. They're international. <laughs> respected bivy makers <laughs> but it's a beautiful morning can you not see that all that little star That's stuff Sandwich. But some of the locals do yeah, have a nice um, aspect about them. Aspects. Very good. So there's a very pretty okay. barman, but she wasn't the super friendly. She was nice and efficient. I mean, very efficient. This came yeah. super fast. Look at that. Cafe Colnet. Wow. Nice. And, and the map, where are we thinking about going? We're yep. here at the moment in Almona. And we were going to go all the way around there, but we're thinking of just nipping past Hollyao and going straight to Faro and then taking the route down to, to Faro Island to complete the Transal Go. What do you feel about the finish? I feel very excited. I just oh, we haven't finished it yet. tinged with regret because we didn't do it all in one one way. Yeah. But um, I'll get over that. Yeah. What's it like paddling into the wind today? It's not paddling into the wind. We're paddling with the wind. It's fantastic. Did you not notice? Spike. You know, he's been paddling with the wind the whole day and you thought he's paddling against the wind. Because it's time to move on.
We had set off early this morning, as, you, as you've seen, from Tavira, the sort of western extremity of Tavira Island, and paddled across the opening towards, um, towards Armona Island, paddled the length of Armona Island, stopped off there for breakfast, and now we're paddling across the center of the Rio Formosa, um, heading westwards for Faro. And as you can see, it's fairly high tide, and it gives you a whole lot more possibilities at high tide, because at low tide, it just becomes canyons of mud. You know, the water level drops by about three meters, and you have to try and carve your way through these muds, and it just sort of limits your, limits your roots. And uh, when it's high tide, you can just paddle straight across the whole Rio Formosa just about, and it's, it was full when we went there. And a fantastic tailwind, as you can see. We were cruising through this without hardly, you know, paddling at all. We actually did 28 kilometers before lunch, which was probably the fastest day we've ever done. We're probably only a couple of kilometers away from Ilya the Faro, Praia the Faro, and uh, it's, uh, it's great to be, it's a great feeling to be almost finished, because I, for one, am pretty naked. Go down there. Yeah, go down there. Sorry. <laughs> False landing. Just this side of the red boat. Yeah. Other side, other side, this side. Let's go other side. Let's go this side. No, let's go other side. Let's go this side. No. Let's go other side. Other side. Let's go other side. Don't worry, we'll we'll steer you, bro. Okay. We'll steer you, bro. Don't worry. Just don't hit my toes. Alright. Wait, there might be a gap. Let's look for a gap. I don't want to walk all the way back. No, there's no gap, mate. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's go. Okay, are you landing? Yep. Landing. Okay. I'm going to go first. I'm going to go first. Oh! And that was it, 160 kilometers in six days. Uh, it was a fantastic time, I mean, so many amazing memories. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing other people doing it faster time, because if you hit the right winds, you could just nail this trip. I mean, what, it's only 100 miles, isn't it? So if you are planning a trip across the Algarve by a stand-up paddleboard, let us know. We'd love to uh, give you all the advice we can and just chat to you about it. It's great, we might even join you if you want. I've put all the info I can on www.algarvesup.com forward slash TA. So check it out. Who knows, it may help you. But um, yeah, a huge thanks to Spike Reed and Mauro Engler for coming with. And thanks to Mauro's mum and sister for coming along uh, on the first couple of days and meeting us in the end. And thanks to my wife and daughter for supporting us. You know, first of all, having a wonderful night out at uh, the Hamburgeria Casa Vostra. And then out taking us, transferring us out from Faro all the way to Spain. So thanks to everybody involved and all you guys out there on uh, Facebook and everywhere, all the social media. Thanks so much for supporting us. It really meant a lot. It was fantastic reading all your comments and it really helped us to get on there and keep on paddling. So hopefully we'll see you on the water. <laughs>